what are dimensions in Dynamics NAV and how are they used. Dimensions are set up in the general ledger. So if we go to the general ledger of the financial area, setups, administration, and general ledger setup, you'll see that in the bottom of this, there's a section called dimensions. Dynamics NAV has eight shortcut dimensions. Here you can see shortcut dimension eight code. And the first two of these are called global dimensions. So if you notice on the left hand side, it says global dimension, department, Shortcut dimension one code is department. So the first two shortcut dimensions are called global dimensions. And the reason that they're called global dimensions is that within the table structures of Dynamics Nav, these two dimensions are exposed on all of the uh, posted ledger entries. So that any ledger entry you're looking at, you can see these two. They are apparent. And the other six uh, dimension codes are not shown on all of the posted ledger entries. Um, a modification can be made that can expose these, but by default only the first two are shown on all of the ledger entries. So pretty important when you design which of these, um, what you're going to tag for these uh, dimensions that you take the most important two that you have and you assign them to the global dimensions. So what is a dimension in NAV? What it really is, is a label or a tag that we can place on a general ledger transaction that will identify it as a, a particular type of transaction. The most uh, apparent one of these is a department code. So when you're doing transactions with expense accounts, you can allocate those expense accounts out to administration, sales, production, uh, any of the attributes that you want to tag on these so that you can do financial statements and get financial statements then based on these attributes. So you can actually do a, uh, an expense account for your production area, for your sales area, and it actually segregates these out for you. When I look at these dimensions, um, dimension, shortcut dimension code 3 through 8, I can simply go in here and select something uh, for one of these if I would choose to. But when I look at the global dimensions 1 and 2 and the shortcut dimensions 1 and 2 code, they're, they're not in this same format. In order to do anything with these, to change these dimension codes or to set them up originally, I have to go to Actions, Change Global Dimensions. And now here I can actually go in and set these global dimensions when I begin to start using them or change them if I would choose to do so later on. I strongly suggest that you uh, set them up correctly to begin with but uh, it is conceivable to change these. So changes are done through this area at the top of the page. Let's take a look at what the effects of setting these dimensions on the general ledger really have. So if I exit out of here and I go back to my general ledger, chart of accounts, and let's just uh, look at areas that are in the expense area. So if I pick 6,000 dot dot, I get all of the GL account numbers from 6,000 down, and I can see that I have balances on many of these. And then I could go into an area here, and I could pick my department filter, for example. And under my department filter, I could pick sales. And when I tab off of this, watch the numbers out here change. So you can see that the numbers now are filtered on this department code. And if I drill into one of these, you'll see that this is these are all of the activities in this uh, account that are just for the sales department. So I can set this filter up and I could look at uh, production, for example. And when I tab off of it again, all of my numbers change. So I can go in and take a look at uh, any of these uh, items that I want to, and these will be all filtered now to the production department. So this allows us to be able to create financial statements and uh, income and expense areas, primarily expenses, for all of these items that are out here uh, in, the, uh, in the expense area. In addition to doing these kinds of things, I can set some other parameters on here that will force these, um, these accounts to always have dimensions on them. 
So NAV allows me to take an account, for example, travel here. And if I go up to the top under dimensions, I can set a single level or multi-level dimension on this. And so in here, I could pick an area like department, and I can set this up so that this is a uh, either just sales or whether it is, uh, uh, I can limit it so I could only post one of these dimensions to this. And I can also say that this is mandatory or mandatory for just this code that I picked over here. When I set this to be mandatory, you cannot post transactions to this travel account that are not accompanied with a department code. So the department code has to be populated in order to post anything to travel. This assures the, uh, the accounting group that all expense um, account numbers